Bang! Knives Knives, I'm Jared and today we are showing off just a few knives that are actually really good. They're very well done knives, like the Civivi Lumi, I think, yeah, the Lumi in 14C28N hollow ground drop point blade, nice and thin geometry for such a small blade and nice and pokey too. Good sharpening choil, micarta, and this on this example, it's burlap micarta, but it does come in different options. Good access to the liner. And it has a top flipper that acts just like lighting a lighter. So if you can light a lighter, a Bic lighter, you can definitely flip this. It's very, very snappy. Very easy to snap out. You can use it like a regular flipper. Or you can use your thumb. Deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws. And it's reversible. So yeah, it's just a really, really good small knife. And because it has such neutral handles, it's going to be very versatile. You know, no matter how you want to use it. Awesome, awesome little knife. Next is the new Convict. Now, you guys probably know already that... The Concept Convict, the original one, or the premium one, is my favorite concept, or one of my favorite concepts. It's my favorite. Because it's done so, so well. Beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind, S35 VN stonewash blade, uh, uh, titanium frame lock that's very, very well done. Extremely, extremely comfortable. Good clip. Good access to lock bar, lots of good stuff. And it's a sheepdog design. Well, now they got it in a budget version and they have the same sharpening choil, same blade, just in 154 CM blade steel G10, but it comes in different options. You got my carta and stuff like that. Um, good clip. It's not a deep carry clip, so it doesn't bother you in the hand when you're squeezing it. It's super duper comfortable. You can use it in reverse grips, pinch grips. It's just a fantastic knife. I know this blue kind of makes it look, you know, a little toy ish um but they have other options like i said and it's yet yeah, such such a good knife um the detent and the action in the whole deployment is really really good very easy to flick even if you're not good at reverse flicking very easy to thumb flick that was the concept comic now next is the Migoron Pelori, sorry, Pelora, Pelora, in 14C, 28N, great steel, G10 scales, steel liner lock, good access to the lock bar, and it is very, very smooth. The thumb studs are very easy to get to. This thing rockets out, man. They tune this detent as perfect as you could get a detent. It is so, so good. Very, very snappy. And even though it looks kind of squarish, it's super comfortable in the hand. And it's not a super large knife. It's, you know, just a medium-sized knife. But you can definitely get a full four-finger grip perfectly, even with a little bit of room. Drop point blade that's two-tone. And it has a titanium milled pocket clip. You can easily do the reverse flick. And, yeah, it's just it's a super solid knife The lock up. Locks up really, really good. Decent sharp intro and plunge grind. I'm okay with it. Um, I usually like it to be a little bit better, but it's not bad. And because of the comfort in the ergos, it cuts really, really well. Because, you know, the more comfortable the handle is, the, the more comfortable it is to push it through materials. And it's got good blade geometry, too. Next is a little bit more premium. We'll go back to some budget pieces. But the Berg Blade Slim. I bought this for Kara, but, man, I'll tell you what. I really, really like this myself. I really do, man. This thing is done so well. It's the little details, like even this lock bar. When I slowly roll it open, that lock bar just yanks itself right into place. M390 blade, titanium bolster lock, and this one's got the purple fat carbon fiber. But there is like, I don't even know how many options. There's a lot of different options. A bunch of different colors in fat carbon fiber from red, green, blue, all different colors. I'll link everything down in the description. Milled titanium clip that works very well. Titanium backspacer. And the action and detent on this is so, so good. Like I said, there's just, it's the little details that just that make a knife just feel super premium. And this one does. Um, decent sharpening tool and plunge grind. You know, I, I prefer it to be a little bit better, but you know, it's good. You know, I got, I got a few sharpenings on there. Good blade geometry. It cuts really well. Good access to the lock bar. Very smooth on the drop. The whole deployment is very easy to get to. And it's got a perfect detent, super solid detent. And I really like 
to slow roll it because of that lock bar just cracking into place you know i've checked it you know um spine whacking and stuff very very solid and i also like how they have the purple fat carbon fiber pivot collar right there awesome awesome knife like i said lots of different colors on that one next <laughs> this is the kaiser urban buoy and it's in 154 cm and it's really not my style <laughs> at all but I can't deny, man, this thing is done so, so, so well. Um, if it, it feels super premium, even though it's a budget knife, great micarta, good quality micarta. You can see it's got a reversible inset clip with flat screws. The hole and detent, the, the deployment is as good as a detent can get. Kaiser, man, they, they have perfected the detent and this thing is, you can even hear it. Solid detent. Good access to the lock bar. Very smooth on the drop for a light blade, too. This is a very light blade. So, yeah, this thing's super snappy. Then, even though it's a three-finger knife, it's a comfortable three-finger knife. And this blade is going to be great for somebody who likes belly. Like, if, you know, doing skinning, things like that. Or, you know, if you just are the type of person that really likes to use the belly through your cuts, this is going to be great. And using the tip, you can do it, but it is a trailing buoy. So, it's uh, it persions up a little bit there. So, getting to the tip is going to be a little bit more difficult. But, right or left-handed, it works extremely, extremely well. It, man, like I said, I can't deny. I can't deny it. it's such a good knife. And last, the Jack Wolf Knives Low Drag Jack. These are still available. Uh, multiple different options are still available. This one is the green fat carbon fiber. And yeah, it's a very, very good one done by Jack Wolf. Um, you know, I like them all. I like them all, but some of them just are my favorite ones of them all. This one's probably my third favorite of, out of, I don't know, eight or, I don't even know, I forget how many, <laughs> no, like eight of them or something, nine of them. Um, S90V blade, the only one so far in S90V, super deep, hollow ground, spear point blade. This is such a beautiful blade. Oh my goodness. Not only is it mega, mega slicey, but it just, it looks gorgeous. Then you have this beautiful titanium and um, titanium and fat carbon fiber handle. Good walk and talk. Nice snap. Oh, yeah. Such a good knife. And the Ergos, it is so comfortable. Probably the most comfortable Jack Wolf knives right here. So, so comfortable. I absolutely love it. So... Yeah, like I said, these things are still available, and this one is, you know, out of all of them, it's done extremely, extremely well. Well, they're all done very well, but I just mean the style, the, you know, the size, the, the blade steel, like, it's, a, it's an amazing knife. And all of them are amazing, but some of them, you know, speak to you, just like with anybody, you know, some of them are going to speak to you more than others. This one really speaks to me. I do wish that the blade stuck out of the handle just a little bit more, but ah, I get over it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Anyways, there you guys go. Just a quick look at a few knives that I think are done very, very well. I love you guys. Peace.